This is an urgent alert from Family Policy Institute. I'm with Dr. Albu van Eden at, in Durban at the National Alliance for Life uh, workshop. And uh, recently, the Constitutional Court ruled that the criminalization of consensual sex between 12 year olds is unconstitutional. What is your feeling on that? You know what? I think it is very important that lawmakers just consult with science. Science is developing. New information is coming to the surface which we didn't have before. And in this respect, there is phenomenal information that's coming from the area of brain scanning technology. There's valuable information coming forward that children have two aspects of their brain that are involved in this decision-making process. The one is their limbic system, or which is called the primitive brain. The limbic system um, is the place where all your feelings are generated, whether it's pleasant feelings of pleasure or whether it's unpleasant feelings. The other part of the brain that's relevant is the frontal lobe, which is called the thinking brain. So your limbic system is the part that will say, it's going to be nice, do it. Your frontal brain is going to say, hang on, is it right? What are the consequences? Now they found in science that the limbic system matures long before the thinking brain. So a child at the age of eight years have already a virtually completely mature limbic system. So a child at that age can experience lust just like an adult would if he would look at a picture, uh, a pornographic picture and things like that. But the, the thinking brain, the front, prefrontal cortex is not so well developed. So it doesn't have the brakes, uh, a, a, a small child, uh, to say, hang on, wait, what are the consequences? And so I think to make a decision like this goes against everything that science is teaching us. And I cannot believe it that the government doesn't even consult scientists in this process. It is ridiculous. Besides ignoring science, I think the Constitutional Court and our government has ignored parents because most parents in South Africa, reasonable, caring, responsible parents, uh, do not want this to be legalized because in society it looks like a green light has been given to young people. It's okay to have sex and again, not considering the consequences. So this is damaging to parental authority as well. Definitely. And I think the government must actually strengthen parental authority in what they do. And if that clashes, their laws clashes with what the parents are saying to them, uh, they are going against that. And we are sitting with a problem of discipline already amongst the youth. Uh, many people complain about the lack of discipline in our schools. We have to have metal detectors now in the schools to look for weapons and all kinds of things. We need to strengthen the authority of the parent. Thank you, Dr. Alwuf and Eden. We appreciate your comments. Thank you. Thank you very much.